Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. It has been some time since I've been on this channel, but we are going to be picking up where I left off in another round of TBR Trouble. Now, if you don't know what TBR Trouble is, it is the TBR game that I have done for a few months. Um, but the last time I posted on this channel or even played that in general was in March, so it has been um, a while. Uh, the only reason why I really haven't been posting is because first of all, um, I've just been really busy with work. I got another part-time job that was requiring me to be gone from Thursday slash Friday to Monday mornings, um, as well as I was enrolled in my classes for graduate school. So I was just really overwhelmed. Um, but the biggest reason is for sure that I just didn't really read. Um, I was reading on my phone here and there, but I was not really <laughs> reading any of the books um, on my shelves. And I kind of felt like I have nothing to offer um, because I'm not reading right now, but I have been in the reading spirit a lot more. I've still been buying a lot more books because I have a problem, um, but I kind of feel better and I feel like in a better headspace. I'm more motivated and all around I just feel great. So I also wanted to come back for this month because it's a special month because it is my birth month. Um, so my birthday is July uh, 31st, so it's <laughs> at the end of the month, um, but also is Harry Potter's birthday, which means pretty special. Enough of me talking, let's get into the fun part, which is rolling and figuring out what books I'm going to be reading in the month of July. All right, we are starting off where we left off the last time we played this, which was in the I pick section here. So we are going to get on with roll number one. We have a three, one, two, three. So our first read will be a fantasy. Well, number one, we got a three, which brought us to fantasy. So I will be picking my settings from this fun little travel mug tumbler thing. I can do this one. We have small town. Okay. Let me go see what I got and I will be right back. So this one is a little bit of a weird pick. Um, so I have not read the series and it's really surprising because like the middle school, even to like my first year, maybe year and a half of high school, I was really into reading about vampires because obviously Twilight really sparked everyone's love for vampires. Um, and I recently, the recently being like quarantine, um, like the first time, so like March, April, May um, of what is that 20 2020 um i read or watched the series and i absolutely fell in love with it um and that is the vampire diaries this is the first volume so it has the awakening and the struggle um so i'm definitely intrigued um to see my thoughts um on the book and it's also a really weird pick to choose for J or, uh, july i feel like this is more of like a what would you say like a fall autumn type of read but I'm very <laughs> excited because I've been just consuming so much um, Vampire Diaries fiction um, so I'm excited to finally read it for the first time and this one has the two books but I'm just gonna say the whole entire bind up or volume is going to be the fantasy book that I'm gonna read that takes place in a small town. Roll the number two. We have a four. One, two, three, four. So we have LGBTQ plus representation. So for role number two, I got a four, which brought me to the LGBTQ plus category. Um, and so because I got a four, I'll be picking from the fourth mug, which is the cover. So I will be picking, let's do this one. All right, we have a weapon on the cover, okay. I don't okay let me look on my little like books I want to read list and then look on the internet a little bit and then I will be back with something I don't really know what to go on there so the book that I'm going to go with is a graphic novel that is a bit of a stretch it is a uh, fence by is it C.S. Pacat I think is how you pronounce it um volume one um because he has a fencing sword which is kind of a weapon so I'm gonna be ordering that on Amazon um, but that is going to be the book that I'm going to choose for those prompts 
row number three. We have a five. One, two, three, four, five. A contemporary romance. But number three, we got a five, which brought us to the contemporary romance section, which now I feel like I'm just going to get rid of the contemporary and just put romance because even though some of the books I read are contemporary romance, most of the time it's just romance. Anyways, now because I got a five, um, I get to choose kind of wherever I want to pick it. Um, and because it is a romance, I want to say, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do rand, no, that's not my random cup. I think I'm gonna go with the random category. I don't know, this could probably bite me in the butt. There's so many random things in here. I literally have no idea what's in here. So I'm gonna choose this one. We have Caitlin's pick. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go gra grab the few books that I picked up and we'll kind of figure out which one we're gonna choose. Okay, so. The three books that I just picked up today, mini book haul, I guess, um, is uh, ones that I'm choosing between. So, we have one that's like more of the contemporary romance, which is New Orleans Rush by Kelly Siskind. But then we have two that are like romance. Um, so we have Follow Me Darkly by Helen Hart. And we have A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair, um, which... All of these three books are ones that I'm going to read immediately. Um, but I think this is the one I'm most intrigued about is Follow Me Darkly. So this is about um, a girl named Sky Manning who basically is a take charge woman and she is the assistant and photographer for a major social media influencer. Um, and basically she just wants to like do like real photography when she gets up and up there what she does is not real photography but she like wants it to be like photographer of the national geographic um and then we have the self-made billionaire Braden black um and basically they have a chance encounter and he basically wants her to submit to him but she is reluctant because she is someone who likes to take charge of herself um and they basically end up in a relationship kind of situationship um and she thinks that she's living her cinderella uh fantasy and she finds out that he has like a deep desire and like a deep secret that he's kind of hiding from her um and so his dark desires though are like basically his only not his only secret now i don't know if this is a series or not but i'm very excited to read it i've been on smutty spicy read book talk and a lot of the books that i was looking for they did not have a barnes noble you have to buy them on amazon i'm assuming um and barnes noble is the only like bookstore that I have around me I don't really have any like small bookstores um so I'm very excited to read this one so this will be a fun one to read as well roll number four we have a another three one two three so we will have to roll again and we got five one two three four five so another contemporary romance all right, so roll number four, I got a three, which brought me to the roll again section. So I rolled a five, which brought me back to the romance section, which I am not mad about at all. This month is going great for me. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. Um, but because I had the two numbers, I will be adding them up, which is eight, and then dividing them by two, which is four. So I'll be picking again from the cover mug. So I'm gonna do this one which oh okay this is a good one this is one that was actually suggested in one of my comments um this is a cover by this was suggested by books with Krista. so i will put i believe she has a booktube channel so i'll put her link down below if you want to check her out so thank you for the suggestion um so this is a nice one as well because a cover by there pretty much every book that i buy is a cover by um, so again, we're going to go to my stockpile of these two. Um, and while this book cover is really pretty and the actual book itself is even prettier, this one was 100% a book buy because the first time I saw it, the only reason why I saw it was because I or like basically wrote it down as like a book to read later was because of this cover, which is funny because I don't really like the color purple in general, but this book really stood out to me and I do really love this cover. I love the um, look of the like romance or contemporary romance books nowadays 
where it's very simplistic in the sense of like just a color on the background and then it has like just the name of the people not the name of the people uh where it just has like a really simple like while this is like a busy design kind of it's pretty simplistic um compared to like i don't know how to explain it like the other I don't know, I feel like a lot of times um, with romance books, they're try like this, they're trying really hard. Like, I do think that this is a really cool cover, but I love the way that like these covers are like coming out with like the pastel colors. I think they're just really pretty and it makes it more appeasing and more like of an eye catcher. You didn't need that, but I am going to be choosing New Orleans Rush by Kelly Siskind. I'm very excited to read this. So this will be the cover by pick for a romance book. Right, so this will be our last roll, roll number five. We have a two, one, two, which means that we have to roll again. And we have a one, which is a graphic novel. Roll number five, we got a two, uh, which brought me to another roll again section. Um, and then I rolled a one. So that brought me to the graphic novel section, which is also really great because now I have two graphic novels that I can read. Um, in this month so again because i had the two numbers three divided by two is one and a half so i'll be choosing from the one and the two so we have the book type which just makes it extra harder but because extra harder i don't think that's correct extra hard but so i'm going to choose this one so it has to be a first in the series that one's pretty easy okay first in a series um and then we have the book trope which is really gonna that's going to be a hard one to choose. So let's do, oh, this one looks like a lot of words. A character has an ability. Okay, so basically like every single um, graphic novel ever. Um, so all of the graphic novels that I currently have, they do not have a character who has an ability. Uh, so I am going to buy one. That's right. So let's look up graphic novels. And it has to be a first in the series. So all the ones that I have as well, I can't even read because they're not the first in the series. Um... Okay, so that took a while, but I am going to go with one that I actually have heard before, and I actually do think that I have this on my list. There was a few that I really liked that I was looking up, but they did not have a character that had an ability, um, so it kind of took me a while to find one that would fit the prompt. It is Monstrous by... Who is it by? By... What is the name of her? Come on. Monstrous Volume 1, which is Awakening um, by, I can't find the name. There we go. Marjorie Lee and Sana Takeda. Probably just butchered your name. I'm so sorry, but you'll see it on the screen somewhere. Um, so I'm going to get these two. So we're going to be reading th those two. I'm really excited about that. Now we're going to do a little bit of wrap up so you can kind of see all the books. Um, so the first book is a fantasy that took place in a small town. And for that, I'm choosing The Vampire Diaries by L.J. Smith. The next book was a LGBTQ plus representation book that has to have a weapon on the cover. And I chose Fence by C.S. Pacat, I believe is how you pronounce the name, which I will be ordering. The third one was a contemporary romance book that is my pick. And I picked Follow Me Darkly by Helen Hard Harden. Book number four is another romance, but this one is a cover by that was suggested by Books with Krista, and I chose New Orleans Rush by Kelly Siskind. And lastly, number five was a graphic novel that had to be a first in the series with a character who has an ability, and for that I chose Monstrous by um, these two authors, uh, as you can see in Majori Lu and Sana Takeda, I probably just completely butchered those, which I will be purchasing as well, the volume one, which is Awakening. Um, so yeah, this is only three out of the five books that I am reading this month, but I'm very excited. It's very romance heavy, real fun, um, and I'm very excited, and I think this will be a great way to get back into reading. Now, the problem is, is which book am I gonna read first? Because 
Well, obviously it has to be one of these three because I don't have the other two yet, but I'm very, very excited um, for these books. Now, if you liked this video, or if you liked me, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more content that I will be posting in the future. This is me putting it out into the universe. Um, but other than that, please feel free to check out my other videos that I have on my channel. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.